The critical planetary geometry as outlined in the previous forecast that preceded the high lunar peak on 16-17 December has not produced increased seismic activity so far, nothing with magnitude 5.8 or larger. We are currently on the 20th with the next lunar peak. We could see some seismic increase because of the planetary conjunction with Sun, Mercury and Neptune early on the 19th followed by some critical planetary geometry semi-right angles converging with the lunar peak. So we could see some seismic increase today or tomorrow following the lunar peak. I also briefly mentioned the planetary conjunctions that we have on the 21st and 22nd. They will be more critical, much more critical. And I prefer to look at the three planetary conjunctions from the 19th to the 22nd. As I said, early on the 19th, Sun, Mercury, Neptune at 0, 59 UTC followed by Venus, Mercury, Mars on the 21st as tomorrow afternoon at 12.39 UTC. This one is definitely something to keep in mind. It's a critical conjunction. And then on the 22nd in the afternoon, about 24 hours later, we have Sun, Mercury, Jupiter. The combination of these three planetary conjunctions should not be underestimated. It is somewhat similar, somewhat, to the planetary configurations in December 2004 that preceded the megafrost earthquake off the coast of northern Sumatra. We also had a Sun-Mercury-Neptune conjunction also on the 19th, followed by a planetary conjunction involving Venus and Mars. And I dare to say that the current situation may be equally critical. Sun-Mercury-Neptune on the 19th, and tomorrow, Mars, Mercury and Venus in a conjunction. What makes it critical is the fact that a day later, we have a lunar conjunction with Mars that will be here on the 22nd. And at the same time, we will have a conjunction with the Sun, Mercury and Jupiter. As I said, the Mars, Mercury, Venus conjunction should not be underestimated. I already emphasized that in the previous forecast. What makes it much more critical is the fact that the Moon aligns with Mars. This lunar conjunction is a recurring factor that precedes large earthquakes. And if we look at the SSGI graph until the 27th, we see the Sun-Mercury-Neptune conjunction early on the 19th, followed by today's lunar peak, and then the two planetary conjunctions, Venus-Mercury-Mars tomorrow afternoon, followed by Sun-Mercury-Jupiter on the 22nd, and then the lunar peak on the 23rd, which also includes new moon. But it starts on the 22nd with the lunar conjunction involving Mars, while Mars was in a conjunction with Mercury and Venus a day earlier. What we're looking at here are the ingredients of a possible major to great seismic event, most likely around the 23rd, 24th, at the time of the lunar peak or just following the lunar peak. I think around the 24th is most critical. Of course, it all depends very much on the condition of Earth's crust, whether or not there is a fault section with a critical amount of stress. If it's a subduction zone, we could be looking at the ingredients of a megafrost earthquake around 24 December. It is also possible, that's another scenario, that we have a seismic increase with the first lunar peak following the critical planetary geometry. And then the largest seismic event could be around the 25th or 26th. This is actually somewhat similar to what we saw in 2004. There was a magnitude 8.1 earthquake south of New Zealand on the 23rd. And then on the 26th, early 26th, we had a 9.3 off the coast of northern Sumatra. It is rare, but it is possible that a great earthquake like in 2004 on the 23rd is followed by a megafrost earthquake a few days later. Again, it depends on the condition of Earth's crust. It is also possible that some seismic increase occurs or a strong to major seismic event, higher 6 to 7 magnitude. But I certainly expect a seismic increase, especially with the Venus-Mercury-Mars conjunction followed by a lunar conjunction with Mars. So we should be looking at the 23rd, 22nd, 23rd for initial seismic increase at least, possibly a clustering of strong seismic events. And there is the potential for a major to great seismic event around or following the lunar peak on the 23rd. So that would be 23rd or 24th. If it arrives late, that's also possible that we have an initial seismic increase like in 2004 with a major to great seismic event or maybe a high 6 magnitude earthquake around the 23rd. And that the largest seismic event is going to occur 
around the 25th or 26th with the second lunar peak relative to the critical planetary geometry on the 21st, 22nd. We're also looking at some critical planetary geometry involving Mercury and Venus early on the 24th and if you see peaks like these they always come in pairs and indeed on the 27th we have the same peak in reverse Venus at the top Mercury below and especially the peak early on the 24th may also be a contributing factor of increased seismic activity. On the website you will find the latest forecast and magnitude probability be sure to check that out regularly. You will also find links to social media where we post additional updates. Be safe. Until next time.